Hi there, it's Jamie Metzger. I'm the president of Romania Reborn and this year we are celebrating, get this, our 20th anniversary in ministry. I can hardly believe it. Um, now over the next few weeks and months we're going to have some um, people sharing some testimonies by video just like this very informally about ways that they have seen God working through Romania Reborn. And I'm just going to kick things off today by telling you one little testimony of my own. Now, um, over the years, we've, we've shared a lot of stories from Romania, and those are really the best stories. Those, those are the stories of children finding an entirely new life by being placed from abandonment into families. But we haven't told you very many stories from, um, from our side in the U.S., and that's for good reason. It's really not the most exciting side. Um, it's the fundraising side. It's the support arm of the ministry. But we have absolutely seen God very clearly at work, even on that side. And I want to tell you one of my favorite stories of that. Um, it happened three years ago, and we had a need at that time for $35,000 to renovate our headquarters in Romania. It had been mostly an orphanage building at first. That's the whole reason that I founded Romania Reborn in the first place, was to build that building. We used it that way for many years, um, and then as laws changed, uh, we began to adjust. Um, today, almost exclusively, in fact exclusively, we are placing children directly from abandonment into families, which is actually better for the children. So we needed a new purpose for our building, and we wanted to make it more of a ministry headquarters. We wanted to have some space where we could hold workshops. We really wanted to have a space where we could that we could use to launch this orphan care movement that's a, a national movement that we've been working on and um, that God is really using. So we needed $35,000 for this project and um, I had written a grant request to a Christian foundation. Um, they got back to me at first and said, well, we aren't really accepting new projects right now, but we will think about it and we will let you know. So some weeks went by, probably a month or two went by and I finally realized, okay, I think this is maybe not happening and we're going to have to brainstorm with the board and come up with some other ideas. So I scheduled a board conference call and it was just this one evening at 7.30. We were supposed to get on the phone and brainstorm about this need. Um, so I had my cell phone in my hand. I was getting ready to make the call. It was 7.29 and up pops a text from guess who? Um, the head of this foundation. And this person um, told me, you know, I'm so sorry we took so long to get back to you, but I want to let you know we have this $35,000 ready and we want to send it to you for this need. And it was just such an incredible moment because um, it was quite literally God answering our prayer at the very last minute. And we have seen him work this way so many times, I mean so many times in our 20 years of ministry. And I've come to conclude that um, not only does he want the work that we're doing to happen, but he wants it to happen in a way where we never forget who the provider is. Um, we never forget that it's not ultimately us, it's not even ultimately our donors, though he, they are the ones he uses, but really ultimately it's him and he gets the glory. And um, I think that's so important that this isn't just a human endeavor, it's something God is doing from the very beginning and he's still working um, through this ministry today. And I'm really excited to see what he's gonna do next. So if you have a story or a testimony, we would love to hear it, get in touch with us. And um, happy 20th birthday, Romania Reborn, and to God be the glory.